the NASA Space Shuttle stands as a marvel of human technology. It opened new horizons for the aerospace industry and created a wealth of invaluable experiences and lessons for future spacecraft generations. But meet SpaceX Starship. Its thermal protection system is more than just an outstanding successor, is a direct blow to the shuttle's TPS. The shuttle's TPS, once NASA's pride, now fades in comparison to the glory of Starships. So how has Starship's TPS been improved? How does it surpass the space shuttle's TPS? Let's explore these questions in today's episode of TechMap. Under the hands of SpaceX engineers, Starship's heat shield tiles have become a formidable engineering masterpiece, reflecting relentless advancements. Analyzing the material structure reveals similarities between Starship's heat shield tiles and AETB, Advanced Environmental Barrier, a material with a 2-phi coating and the addition of molybdenum disilicide, which was crucial in the final years of the space shuttle program. Indeed, examining Starship's tiles shows the complex presence, potentially, of silica, alumina borosilicate, and aluminum oxide fibers, aligning with AETB. In fact, Elon Musk has mentioned that the tiles are made from silicon and aluminum oxide. In the latest announcement, Elon Musk revealed that the new heat shield tiles developed for Starship's fifth flight will be twice as strong as the previous version. This enhancement might be achieved by reinforcing the material mix with larger diameter alumina fibers, significantly improving durability. Although this may increase the tile's weight, the strength and resilience it provides are undeniable. On the other hand, structurally, the Space Shuttle's heat shield tiles were known for their outer coating of tetrasilicide and borosilicate glass. Similarly, Starship's heat shield tiles have a distinctive black color. When you observe Starship during re-entry, you'll notice a beautiful blue glow of plasma surrounding it. This indicates that SpaceX likely uses a similar borosilicate coating as borosilicate burns with a blue flame. Borosilicate is a type of glass containing boron trioxide with a very low thermal expansion coefficient meaning it's highly resistant to cracking or warping under sudden temperature changes, unlike regular glass. Similar, right? However, the Space Shuttle is a masterpiece of engineering from decades ago. Its TPS, though advanced for its time, had significant weaknesses that didn't align with Starship's ambitious goals today. The orbiter's complex shape meant that most of its 24,000 tiles were unique in size and shape, making production, quality control, and refurbishment a logistical nightmare. The orbiter's TPS wasn't a simple system, but a collection of heat-resistant material, each carefully selected for specific areas of the spacecraft. For instance, reinforced carbon-carbon (RCC) could withstand re-entry temperatures up to 1,260 degrees Celsius, protecting the nose and leading edges. High-temperature reusable surface insulation (HRSI) tiles made from Li-900 silica ceramics with a heat-resistant coating were used on the underside where temperatures were lower. Felt reusable surface insulation (FRSI) provided protection for areas with temperatures below 371 degrees Celsius. In the past, the Space Shuttle's thermal protection system TPS posed a significant challenge in terms of time and effort. With over 24,000 tiles, each varying in size by about 15 centimeters in length and between 2.5 to 12.7 centimeters in thickness, finding or producing an exact replacement tile for each specific area was incredibly time-consuming. NASA reported that just maintaining the TPS in the Orbiter Processing Facility, OPF, required up to 80,000 labor hours between flight, including QA inspection, repairs, re-waterproofing, and recertifying for flight. In contrast, Starship's TPS aims for a very optimistic turnaround time of about one hour and doesn't require such extensive labor. Starship's hull tiles are designed with nearly uniform size and thickness across the entire spacecraft. Only about over 100 tiles have unique shapes for specific areas like the nose and corners. While this might slightly increase the spacecraft's overall weight, it offers significant benefits in production, maintenance, and repair. This uniformity allows for thorough automation in manufacturing and quality control processes, resulting in simplified construction, shortened production times, significantly reduced costs, and higher reliability. This design also offers a strategic advantage for Mars exploration missions. The crew can carry spare tile, allowing them to quickly and efficiently replace any damaged ones. This repair capability ensures the spacecraft's integrity for the journey back to Earth, significantly enhancing mission safety and success. 
This is a prime example of how simple design can yield enormous benefits in space exploration, embodying the philosophy of less complexity, more efficiency in modern aerospace engineering. The critical weakness of the Space Shuttle's thermal protection system lies in its aluminum structural frame. Although aluminum melts at around 660 degrees Celsius, its mechanical properties begin to degrade at much lower temperatures. At around 250 degrees Celsius, aluminum loses a significant portion of its strength and rigidity, severely compromising the structural integrity of the spacecraft. The combination of extreme temperatures during atmospheric re-entry and the heat sensitivity of the aluminum frame created a situation where even a minor flaw could lead to disastrous consequences. As you can see, a single design flaw can threaten the safety of an entire complex system. Starship, with its stainless steel structure, showcases superior heat resistance compared to the space shuttle. Stainless steel not only withstands higher temperatures, but also effectively dissipates heat from hot spots to surrounding areas before reaching its melting point. This characteristic gives Starship a better resilience against the extreme heat during re-entry. Stainless steel maintains its mechanical stability at temperatures up to 800 degrees Celsius, an impressive threshold far exceeding the capabilities of the aluminum alloys used in the space shuttle. Although the material may lose some strength at this temperature, it still retains sufficient structural integrity to ensure the spacecraft's safety. Consequently, Starship doesn't require a thermal protection system in its leeward areas, unlike the space shuttle. Another key difference is the method of attaching thermal protection tiles. The space shuttle used adhesive to secure its tiles. Well, the adhesive and underlying aluminum structure couldn't withstand extreme heat, necessitating the use of thick, heavy tiles, which increased the overall weight of the spacecraft. In contrast, Starship employs a more advanced method for attaching its heat shield tiles. Smooth pins are used to mechanically fix the tiles to the ship's body. This method is so robust that, under normal conditions, Removing a tile without breaking it is nearly impossible. Although there were instances of tiles falling off like shooting stars during Flight 4, SpaceX has continually refined the design for Flight 5. Additionally, to enhance protection in case of tile loss, they've added a layer of ablative material beneath the heat shield tiles as a secondary barrier. This ensures that even if some tiles are lost, the exposed steel will remain protected. It won't directly encounter the extreme temperatures reaching thousands of degrees Celsius in the hottest regions. You might not realize Starship was already a winner over the space shuttle from the moment we saw it in renders. Yes, even when it was just a concept. One of the most significant breakthroughs of Starship is its placement. Unlike the space shuttle, which was mounted to the side of its booster, Starship is positioned atop the Super Heavy booster. This configuration offers huge advantages in terms of safety and performance. By being on top of the booster, Starship avoids direct impacts from intense vibrations and significantly reduces the risk of damage to its thermal protection system. The design of Starship has provided a significant advantage in dealing with extreme temperatures during atmospheric re-entry. Its stout shape, resembling a giant cylinder, isn't just about aesthetics. It's a sophisticated aerodynamic strategy. This stout shape helps dissipate heat and protect the vehicle's structure. Specifically, as Starship plunges into the atmosphere at hypersonic speeds, its blunt shape generates an intense compression zone. The temperature in this zone rises dramatically, but it also creates a thermal gradient with decreasing heat towards the rear. This mechanism acts like a natural aerodynamic heat shield, safeguarding the spacecraft's main structure from extreme temperatures that could otherwise melt metals and alloys. This efficient heat dissipation capability of the blunt vehicle shape far surpasses the winged design of the space shuttle. SpaceX are keenly aware that non-blunt surfaces, especially the flap edges, are prone to high thermal loads, a weakness starkly evidenced by the melting incident during Starship's Flight 4 test. Yet they clearly have solutions in place. The flap design allows for folding the flaps inwards, and they're going to shift them to the leeward side to reduce the amount of heat the flaps have to endure. Clearly, SpaceX have meticulously identified and eliminated each weak point in traditional TPS designs, replacing them with breakthrough solutions that are simple yet vastly more effective. From optimizing the overall shape of the spacecraft to adjusting the size of thermal tiles and improving how they are attached to the hull, every aspect has been carefully considered and refined. These changes are not just tweaks, they reflect a comprehensive rethink of how to approach thermal protection for the next generation of spacecraft. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.